Some residents of Olu communities in Imo State have accused soldiers of the Nigerian army of killing innocent people. The residents disclosed in a survey conducted by Sahara reporters. Many people have been reportedly killed in the community following a clash between the Eastern Security Network operatives and the Nigerian army. Videos seen by Sahara reporters during the week showed helicopters hovering around the town in search of the camps occupied by the Eastern Security Network personnel. Sahara reporters had launched a survey to find out from residents of Olu if they were killings or not. The, the souvenir, I, I beg your pardon, the questionnaire reads, are you a resident of Olu in Imo State? We want to hear from you. Please fill out this form. A spokesperson from the Nigerian Army 34 Artillery Brigade, Obinze Oweri, Babatunde Zubairu, who confirmed the operation, said the locals were not being harassed. The Army spokesperson said that the operation was an offshoot of military intelligence. Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, had launched the Eastern Security Network on December 12, 2020, saying the regional security outfit would help to tackle just like Amoteko in the southwest, in the southwest crimes and criminalities. After the clash, Kano, Nambi Kano accused Governor Hope Uzadima of working with the army to flush out and attack the Eastern Security Network officers from the bushes where they are operating. On Friday, the Imo State government said the Eastern Security Network operatives are hoodlums and will be treated as murderers by the government. The State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Cyprian Akaulisa, said the Imo State government invited the military to flush out the hoodlums who call themselves the Eastern Security Network in Olu. According to Akaulisa, Nambekan was endangering the people of the state by the activities of the Eastern Security Network in the area. Replying to a survey conducted by Sahara reporters, some responders accused the military of killing innocent people. For fear of victimization, some of them didn't mention their names. The military is killing innocent people. They should channel their aggression to the Fulani headsmen and terrorist bandits, one of the responders claimed. Another responder said, it's so scary and full of injustice. We, know, we now live in fear of the Nigerian army and attack from the armed Fulani headsmen. I cannot go back to my regular business of selling local gari to feed myself and my three children. We are helpless and hungry. We cannot call on the government because they are biased. Another person says the government has failed us. They protect their relatives to the detriment of our lives. Do I still have confidence in this government again? The government should negotiate with the Eastern Security Network as they do with Fulani bandits. One of the respondents said his friend was allegedly killed by the Nigerian soldiers. So badly, my G named Onyebuchi don't die, bullets don't touch him. What's going on? The Eastern Security Network is not a terrorist group. Since it was created, no one has been raped. No bad news about them. Yet the military is killing us, using the Eastern Security Network as an excuse. What is going on? He asked. We live in fear. An old woman coming back from her farm was killed. The Eastern Security Network is not a threat to anyone. The military actually are the threats. And all the victims of the Nigerian of the military assault so far are harmless civilians. 
not the Eastern Security Network, another resident of the town said. There are reported cases of arrest and deaths yet to be ascertained by me. There is no crisis in Olu. The Buhari regime is only displaying a high level of cluelessness. They should return their interest to the northern axis of terror because the Eastern Security Network is only defending the Eastern Territories from the ravages of the Fulani headsmen, whom this regime are sponsoring, one of the residents concluded. Another person says he lost his business during the clash. He said, I lost my business. I must defend my ancestral home. If I am equipped to do it, Many people are currently in the hospital and many can't go to the hospital because they are afraid the army could come to take them from the hospital. The Nigerian government can't do anything because they are the ones instigating the crisis, he said. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular situation as it were? There are reports that the Nigerian military are killing innocent people in Olu. While the Nigerian government and the Imo state government are saying that there is no such report and that there was no killing of innocent people, the question is who do we believe? The question is who are the people saying the right thing? Well, Sahara reporters as a result decided to conduct this survey and in the survey that was conducted by Sahara reporters, it was observed that residents complained of the killings, that there, there were killings. Don't forget that there were airstrikes and also there were troops on the ground who were reported to have shot into the bushes. Possibly those bullets might have hit some residents who uh, people who took the survey are actually referring to that were actually dead. It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Is there a possibility of the level of um, invasion of Olu by the military and there will be no record of deaths? Well, I don't know. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but it is what it is. If what the government and the Nigerian military are saying is anything to go by, they are claiming that there was no casualty and nobody was killed. But the residents are saying that there were stray bullets that had touched some people and killed some people. Well, it is sad and unfortunate that that is the situation of things at the moment. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.